Yes, the topic is parabola. How the curve called parabola, how it is obtained or how it is originated. For that consider a cone. It's a solid object. Imagine it's a solid object. And uh, this part, the part of the cone is called as apex. A-P-E-X, apex. The topmost point is called as apex. And this is the base of the cone, which will be circular, I mean circular shape. And uh, these are called as generators. The slant edges in cone are called as generators. And the generator is basically a line joining one of the point of a of the circumference of the base and the apex. You see, generator means it's a, basically a line joining the one of the point of the base and the apex. So here I have shown one of the generator marked like this. And uh, if you can see, now we're going to cut cut this cone using a knife or saw. Suppose if it is made up of wood means I can use a saw. Saw is a tool used to cut the wooden objects. Now I am going to cut the cone parallel to one of the generator. Here this is the generator I have chosen or drawn over the object and the outer surface. And when I keep turn the cone like this, now the generator become extreme left slantage. So when I turn like this, this the slant the generator which I have drawn becomes extreme left view from the other side. This will be extreme left slantage. Similarly, this may be the extreme right slantage, connecting one of the point on the circumference of the base and the apex. So now, what is the condition for a two lines or a two objects to be parallel? If I skip the scale and the saw like this, now when the gap between the saw and the scale is uniform, at the lower end and as well as at the upper end. So now I can say that the scale is parallel to the saw. They both edges are at the same distance. Now this is the slantage which I have chosen. That is extreme left slantage. With this slantage, keeping the say, saw parallel to that. For that I have to incline the saw. Now the knife or the saw and the scale are in single plane. Single plane, that is inclined plane. When I move the saw like this towards the right, with uniform gap, maintaining a uniform gap between the saw and the uh, scale or the slant edge that is extreme left to slant edge. At one point of time, that is a uh, condition is that that uh, when a cone is cut parallel to a slant edge or it is parallel to one of the generator, the section obtained is called as parabola. Now we are going to cut the parabola like this parallel to the extreme slant edge or one of the slant edge when I cut like this and the knife is removed you can see this cut portion or the cross section obtained is called as parabola or parabolic profile the cross section obtained as shown in different color called as parabola and separately I have made taken drawn with the cross section also this is a cross section removed cross section if you analyze this cross section uh, into this picture and this point of the parabola is called as uh, vertex vertex it's a vertex only one vertex would be there and uh, this is the parabolic profile parabolic profile it will be having diverging property the diverge it will keep on diverging not like ellipse in ellipse it have uh, profile will uh, diverge at after some distance it will converge closed curve ellipse is a closed curve whereas this parabola is a open curve it keeps on diverging that is the nature of this uh, profile and where this parabolic profile is used and this parabolic profile you can find in bikes uh, headlamps headlamps will have parabolic uh, profile and in bridges arches and uh, in tunnels